Hey guys, Clint here. I'm going to show you all my Xbox 360 games and give them a rating. First off is MW3. Um, campaign's pretty good. Uh, multiplayer wise, it's, it's alright. I give it an 8 out of 10. Elder Scrolls 5, don't even have, don't even have to explain, as a, as a 20 out of 10. A World at War. Campaign is pretty good. M multiplayer's pretty good. The Zombies puts this on the number 10 list, so number 10 for this guy. Reach. Reach is, Reach had a pretty, Reach had a really good uh, campaign, yeah, campaign, but uh, multiplayer was um, a little stiff, if you know what I mean. Um, Halo 3, very excellent. Uh, again, like most, like Halo Reach, um, multiplayer is pretty stiff. I give it a, uh, 10 out of 10. Halo 4, um, I haven't played the multiplayer on this yet because I don't have enough space to download it, download it onto my Xbox. But campaign wise, it's pretty good. I give it a, uh, 8 out of 10. Um, MX vs. ATV, Untamed, I give a, um, uh, I give it a 7 out of 10. Mortal Kombat, this is the ninth one. Um, the story of my, the storyline is very good, but very long. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. Left 4 Dead, the first one. Um, graphics are kind of cheesy. Uh, if you can just tell right why I like that. Um, graphics are pretty cheesy. Uh, uh, there's not much weapons in it, so I'm going to say about 6 out of 10. Left 4 Dead 2. Um, better graphics. Uh, just a few more weapons than the first one, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now, I have to say, this is the best Modern Warfare game there is. So, um, the graphics are insanely good. Campaign's really good, multiplayer's really good. 10 out of 10. Black Ops, um, storyline's excellent, multiplayer's excellent. I'm gonna have to say, 10 out of 10. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Now, I've been playing Ghost Recon for, well, since I can remember, like, five. And that's when the first, and that's when the, the first Ghost Recon game came out. Uh, the campaign-wise is pretty difficult, even on the little difficulty there is. Multiplayer-wise, I haven't played it because I have to make this weird Ubisoft account. And so, I'm gonna, since I've only played the campaign, 10 out of 10. Uh, Pretty detailed, actually. But anyways, that's it. Bye.